Okay, lesson 68, scientific calculator, scientific notation, powers, and roots. Here they're showing you how to use a scientific calculator to find solutions to uh, scientific notation problems. And then to powers and roots problems. They're showing you how to use it with one of those big old scientific calculators. I'm going to show how to use it with uh, the scientific calculator on my iPhone. Um, we're going to work these problems here these class practice problems, and we're going to start with A, and then we'll do C, and then we'll do B, and then we'll do D. Um, have your book open or copy the problems down so you can follow along and see what we are doing. We're going to work that first one. Um, how it's going to work is we're going to plug in point zero 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 four two times 17, and then we make it a negative 17, and then hit the 10x button and go equals and we've got 4.2 e negative 21 what that means is 4.2 times 10 to the negative 21 power so let's keep it going and since it's over we're going to go divided by and then very important after we've done the divided by do the parenthesis clear over on the left top corner and hit that parenthesis button and then plug in our 568 Four two five times, and we'll put in the 5 to the 10x, equals. And here's our answer. And the way this would look on paper is 7.39, if you round it two places, 7.39 times 10 to the negative 32 power. All right, moving to the second one, um, and working this one, uh, C, together. So it's going to work. We're going to plug in the first one, 0 .00042, 0 .00042 times 17 negative 10x equals, again, we're at 4.2 to 10 to the negative 21 power. And then we go times instead of divide. Again, hit the parentheses thing so we keep this information separate. 568425, 568425 times 5 to the 10x power equals, and there's our answer. And you would write this, move the decimal point to between the 2 and the 3, so you go 2.39 to round it. Um, times 10 to the, and let's count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 2.39 times 10 to the, since we moved the decimal point to the right, we're going to go negative uh, 10 power. So 2.39 times 10 to the negative 10 power. The reason it didn't pop up on this calculator before with that E and negative and doing the fancy business for us is because it can fit these digits on here. Um, the reason before it went negative 21 is because it couldn't fit 21 digits on, but it can fit this many on, so we have to do that much work ourselves. Uh, moving to the next style, the 4.2 um, with 156 in the radicand down below the sign. Um, how we're going to work that is we're going to punch in, first of all, the 156. So 156, and then hit the one the you want to hit the thing that's about in the center of the screen that has the x down under the radicand and the y above x down under the radicand y above and then put in our 4.2 4.2 equals and there's your answer uh round it to two places is good 3.33 okay and going to the other kind the very the last one where we've got 1.86 to the negative 4.86 power. Let's go 1.86. And now we hit the button that was right above that other button where we've got x to the y power. And we're going to go x to the y power and go 4.86, 4.86. Let's make it negative by hitting the positive negative and go equals. So there you go, 0 0.04899. Uh, round it to wherever you like. Okay, that is that, and thanks.